Hey, 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 everyone! Hobo4Crafts, aka Mr. Hobo here. That actually took a lot of breath. Uh, I thought I'd change it up a bit. Always good to be different. Change is good. Uh, Merry Christmas Eve, as I am recording it. As you can tell, I've already been hitting the eggnog. Jokes, of course. Oh, that would be illegal. I am a minor. Anyway, after this awkward silence... Let's get started. I am, in fact, doing another self-cast. I actually got a better uh, reaction, a better response to those games than I had thought. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do another. And I am ranked 16 right now. That's a little bit poopy. You can see my bonus pool is a little bit up. I've been doing custom games mostly against some pals to solidify my... Um, my uh, certain matches, but oh no, ZVP on Jungle Base, and right away I'm thinking, this certainly is not good. I really should veto this map, but it is in some tournaments that I play on, so after requiring more minerals, I will uh, do that and veto it. So my thought process is that I want to fast expand, and that he probably is going to fast expand as well, so I'm going to probably feel pretty safe. And actually, you know what? I am going to send a drone at my uh, ninth. So I'm going to send my ninth drone because I want to see what he's doing uh, pretty early. I want to see if he throws a forge down. If so, I can obviously expect uh, some kind of cheese. If either maybe he's going to uh, go back here, maybe in my base somewhere, maybe even block off this ramp. That's not as common uh, on this map because you do have this expo right over here, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to be scouting. Uh, gonna send my overlord over here. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna send it into the back because I don't want that to get it picked off. That is a pretty long distance across this map, and uh, he could probably have a cyber core down and a sentry or a stalker out by the time I get over there. So just scouting. He actually hasn't thrown anything down yet. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, and I'm just gonna actually poke around here. And see if he's going to throw down a nexus. Oh, I don't see anything, so this is a little bit odd, but I'm getting up to 15. Oh, here we go. It is a gateway, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I uh, don't really see four gate pushes that much on this map. Oh, am I going to be able to get it off? Don't really see four gate pushes that much on this map, just for the fact um, of, the, of the huge distance you have to go. Um, it's a real pain in the butt. Uh, for both players, really. So, yeah, you don't see early aggression that often. Unless it's in the form of a proxy, which you definitely have to watch out for. In fact, speaking of which, it would be a good idea for me to just scout and poke around my base right now. Um, always a good thing to get in the habit of. Is he going to be throwing down a cyber core anytime soon? It looks like... No. Because I am poking him with my drone. Going to be throwing down... I guess, and a nice little, oh, it looks like he is th going to throw down that cyber core, so I'm going to steal his gas just to be annoying. Uh, like I said earlier, just throwing down that extractor, and just going to be droning up a little bit. Um, and he's still poking around. He's doing a good job of staying in my base and seeing what's going on. I definitely like that, and I'm not going to let this uh, extractor finish, at least that's the idea. Um, just keep doing that a lot of times. Just really pee him off. And, uh, that just did not sound right at all. By pee him off, I meant piss him off, but I wasn't supposed to say that word because I'm trying to keep it classy here, folks. But I just said it, so I'm just going to be making uh, a, a queen at my expo. And actually, oh, you guys should have seen it. I actually canceled right Right as I oh that wow that is just so unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna be making one pair of zerglings only because map's so large. I don't I don't need a lot to defend or anything. Gonna be making my second queen and I just want to get rid of the scout really. Um, definitely definitely gonna be getting um, this metabolic boost. I mean it, this a map this big you you just have to. I'm actually gonna leave one in gas. I actually like to leave one in gas just because uh, you get a little bit of a head start as far as 
uh, getting your gas goes so when you want to tech later you have a little bit of an advantage in doing so it's not really going to hurt my economy I even have an expo and a pretty well saturated base going to take just a couple I, I only like to take enough drones so that they don't start going back and forth um, so it, it doesn't really require a lot um, and if you do more than you have to it's kind of uh, it, it, it wastes your economy in that you have to spend time um, moving all those drones when really you could have kept them there for the same efficiency um, but that's just completely nerdy of me to say so I won't say that uh, but yeah just saturating up macroing up you can see I'm pretty comfortable the only really thing I, I, I want to worry about is a late four gate um, type of type of deal or um, void rays are definitely what a lot of Protoss l like to go for um, or Phoenix Harass. Phoenix Harass is extremely viable on long maps like this. So that's something you definitely have to worry about. Um, you can see I'm getting a tiny bit care careless as far as my uh, how many minerals I got. Minerals I got. Minerals I have. Um, but I am going to be making queens. I love getting extra queens uh, just for the fact of transfuse. Being able to defend if he gets... Um, if he gets void rays and you don't even see it coming, um, I mean, it's it's much more cost effective and uh, useful than massing up and getting, uh, let's say, a bunch of spore crawlers. I mean, with queens you can do so much more. Spread creep, get a bunch of larvae, uh, send them to your hatcheries when you make new expos. Uh, you can you can uh, use transfuse to great advantages. And uh, it's just good stuff all around. We're going to be throwing down a Roach Warren. Uh, I don't like the numbers of Stalkers and whatnot that he's getting. So I'm going to be uh, getting Hydras and Stalkers. Uh, not Stalkers. Um, and Roaches, excuse me. But uh, also going to throw down an Evo Chamber. And going to be spawning some more Overlords. Something's telling me I should probably do that. Uh, but I'm feel my, my economy is pretty good at this point. So um, I'm just going to keep one scout here. You can see I, I really don't have that many units, and that's because I've just been scouting around. Uh, speaking of scouting, going to get uh, Overload Upgrade. Very important to get. Um, I haven't been doing much of, you know, uh, building units because he's been allowing me to macro up. He's been pretty laid back, uh, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Getting get uh, speed and uh, range for my Hydras. But, uh, yeah, I'm, <coughs> I'm going to be scouting once this uh, nifty little upgrade finishes here. And also, I, I, I guess I'm going to take this fourth grass. I don't think I really need it. Whenever you go hydras, really, I, I, I feel fine around, uh, around three. Three gas is just fine for me. And you know what? I'm actually going to be expoing two. There's n not really any way that could uh, hurt me at this point. And it looks like he's just going a lot of stalkers, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about my unit composition. Uh, roaches take a good amount of damage while they dish out uh, a good amount as well. And I will be able to have these hydras, which uh, with their range will uh, let the roaches do a lot of tanking and pump out that huge DPS uh, that the hydras are known for. So feeling pretty good here. And I can just assume that he's going to have... A lot of uh, gates up and just going to be a lot of that kind of sort of deal. But I want to see what's going on uh, just in case. Looks like a couple pylons. Nothing special there. Oh, we got a forge. And so we could see a timing push. Twilight Council. We could definitely see Blink or Charge Zealots. And that is just a poop load of um, gateways. So yeah, we're obviously going to see a lot of gateway units. Um, in case you're completely just not, oh, I, I don't even know. I was just being Captain Obvious right there. And it looks like I have another extra queen. Great, great, great. Uh, and I'm going to be spreading my drones out a little bit. Just for the heck of it. Just because I am a good Zerg citizen. And going to be spreading my creep as well. Always a very, very good thing to do. And actually, you know what? I think I am going to get a, a macro hatchery. 
Let's go, buddy. There we go. And these days, I am favoring the um, the attack over the carapace a little bit more. Uh, just for the fact that uh, Col Colossi just really neglect uh, that armor anyway with all the splash. And they just tear through the armor anyway. So, uh, it's, it's just more effective. Um, oh, that, that can't be good. It's just more effective. Oh, he blinked away. That's cute. Uh, it's just more effective to go for the attack. It's going to be doing a lot more for you. So that's my two cents on that. And it looks like I've got a decent economy going. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about this. And what else? Oh, definitely get Burrow. What was I thinking? If he ever has force fields, I can just Burrow. No worries about that. And uh, I'm getting a little bit behind on my macro. I'm, I'm not happy with myself here. I, I tell you guys what. Um... Just spread my creep, doing all the normal Zerg things, because I want to fit in. And I think I have a lot more energy during this cast than usual. I don't know what that's up, what uh, what's up with that, but man, I'm I'm just feeling it. And hey, why not? I think I'm gonna take another base. Why not scoot on over there? Um, really, I like to take bases when my creep is spread toward them because I can get to them easily and defend them easily and I really should scout oh my gosh no doubt about that folks I am going to be scouting hardcore and it looks like I actually need a lot more a lot more roaches coming in here gonna be scouting with this overlord wanna get a nice unit mix oh yeah I'm feeling this I am feeling this My metamorphosis is complete. And... Yeah, that's... Okay. Yeah. What is this kid doing? So I think I saw... Uh, um, I think he's going uh, high Templars as well. So I'm going to have to micro this pretty well. Actually, you know what? This warrants Banelings. Who, who doesn't like Banelings? Let's be honest, you guys. Banelings are great against high Templars. They're great in great numbers uh, and large numbers against Protoss armies because all well, the splash damage. They do great damage. And uh, especially against the weak units like that. Actually, I think he's going to be pushing me soon. And I don't want to be caught in a choke like this. And yep, there, there are those high Templars. So um, I'm going to have to be worried about that. Oh, jeez. And I kind of feel... Like a noob keeping these all in one group, so I'm gonna keep my zerglings and roaches in one group since they're more up front and my my hydras in a completely different group. And this guy's just being so annoying with this. Look at him go. Oh, is he gonna blink out? Yep, yeah. yes he is. But okay, that was that was not worth it. Actually I don't need these zerglings at all, so I could care less. And while my roaches are backing up, I'm going to let my hydras keep attacking. At least that was the plan. See if I can't draw a, a storm or two out of them. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, okay, there's one storm. Uh, there's another. Excuse me if I don't talk a bit. Oh, it looks like I'm just getting pooped on and where are all my larva mmm this surely was not 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 good for me oh looks like he got really careless with those high templars uh, except I got pretty careless in losing all of my shit oh my god no worries uh, I'll just mass a bunch of roaches, and that will just make everything okay, so nobody worry. Nobody start panicking, put down a bunch of spine crawlers. That is completely not what you want to be doing at this point. And 